Trump spent Easter morning on Twitter publicly nursing his bruised ego all in one breath. He referenced his impossible electoral college win, and then grumbled that the election is over. Trump was obviously incensed by the nationwide marches yesterday demanding the release of his tax returns. These are the same tax returns, by the way, that he promised to release on the campaign trail on numerous occasions. They are the same tax returns that can prove the President of the United States pays his fair share into our schools, our roads, our law enforcement, just like every other American does. They are the same tax returns that can assure the restless 65.8 million Americans who did not vote for him in the presidential election, 3 million more than the number who actually voted for Trump that he has no conflicts of interest and is working in the best interest of the American people, not the Trump Organization. In typical Trump fashion, he doesn't stop there, further eroding his already decimated credibility by insinuating that the small organized rallies yesterday were paid for. Trump already has a shaky relationship with the truth, evidenced by his proclivity to make wildly unfounded claims. Polity Fact reviewed all of Trump's statements ultimately deciding that 70% of what he says is mostly false, false, or pants on fire. When Trump erroneously claimed that Obama wiretapped Trump Tower, the United States government wasted valuable resources proving that, shocker, there is no evidence to support his claim. The icing on the cake, of course, was that James Cummey, the director of the FBI, also announced that day that the FBI was investigating the Trump campaign for possibly colluding with Russia to tip the election in Trump's favor. Since numbers are so important to our president, who is a full-grown man, it is important to note that the small rallies yesterday were attended by hundreds of thousands of people in over 150 cities across the United States. If those were small, I wonder what Trump would call his own inaugural crowd which drew roughly one-third the amount of people that Obama's inauguration drew. Finally, Trump's impossible electoral college victory ranks 46 out of 58 elections. I'll just leave it at that. I would say the election is over, but Trump beat me to it. Instead, I'll repeat what all of America said yesterday. Release your tax returns. What do you think? Comment below and share. Scroll down to comment below. Occupy Democrats helped contribute to this report.